Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this image grid right here using HTML and CSS grid. Okay, now if you haven't used CSS grid before, this video should hopefully help you out in terms of understanding how it all works. So this solution right here is actually relatively straightforward. Okay, now um, this grid is also going to be customizable, which means you can actually change your width and height of the images. For example, we can see the one right here, this large one, this is taking up a total of two columns and uh, two rows. Okay, so you can change things like that to your own liking. It's going to be totally up to you. Now it's also going to be responsive right here, as we can see, as I scroll down or as I decrease the width of my page. It's going to respond to, of course, the page size, as well as go down to a more, you know, compact two column layout on mobile devices. Okay, so going inside this tab right here, let's begin from scratch to create what I just showed you. Now, also, as usual, the source code for this is going to be linked down below if you want to view it and follow along. So going inside the text editor right here, we're starting with an empty HTML file. I've linked up this CSS style sheet, so let's go inside the body and begin with the HTML before moving on to the CSS. Alright, so when it comes to the HTML, it's going to be really simple. We're going to be creating a new div here with a class of image-grid, so this div is going to be the main container for each one of your images. Okay, Inside here now, we can simply specify every single image. For example, I'm going to say image right here give this a source at this URL. I've just got a sample image of architecture at this URL. Now I can put some else text, for example, architecture, just like that. So I'm going to duplicate this five times just to recreate what I've shown you in the example just earlier on. So if I save this here and go back inside the browser, we get something like this. So this is all of the HTML done for the image grid. It's, it is that simple. Okay. Now, Going inside the CSS right here, let's get to the main part. Okay, so we're going to be setting a body here with a margin of zero. So this is optional. The only reason why you'd want to do this um, is if you want your image grid to take up the entire width and height of your browser. So by default, of course, there's about a five pixel margin on many browsers in the body. So we're just getting rid of that. If you plan to put your image grid inside a different part of your web page, then this of course isn't required. So down here now, we can target the image dash grid class. So for the main class right here, we're going to be setting a bunch of CSS properties. So we're going to say dash dash, then say gap at 16 px. So if you're familiar with variables in programming languages, basically this is just setting a variable which we can then use later on. So the reason why I've set it as a variable is so that we can uh, reuse the same value in both um, some padding as well as a gap. Okay, so let's move on now. Set another one called uh, dash dash num dash cols. Make this four. So basically number of columns in the grid is going to be uh, four by default. And if I didn't mention earlier, the gap is going to be basically the gap between each photo, 16 px. Okay. Down below, we can now say dash dash row dash height. Going to set this to be 300 px. Okay, so essentially here we're just saying each row or each image is going to have a height of 300 pixels. Okay. Now, going down, we can say a box sizing of border box. Then we can say a padding of var and use that gap right there. So a padding of 16 px basically. So the border, sorry. The, um, the border box here is going to make sure that the padding does not increase the entire width of the container. So if I just save this here, go back in the browser, we get something like this. As we can see, we've got that 16 px of padding on each side of the image grid container right there. Okay. Now, moving, uh, moving down, uh, we can create a new uh, property here called display and make this equal to grid. So using the grid display on CSS, or on the container to of course take advantage of the CSS grid. So when it comes to the CSS grid, we're going to be specifying some columns and rows. So here I'm going to say grid template columns, I'm going to set this to be repeat, then say var and use that number of columns, then say one fr. So basically 
This just means that for the columns on the grid, we want four, so four, four equal width columns on the grid. Okay, then down here, we can say grid auto rows and make this equal to the row height. So basically, this just means this grid auto rows, this means we want an unlimited amount of 300 pixel rows in the grid. Okay, so if I save this here, I go back inside the browser, we can see we get something like this. So it isn't looking exactly how we want it. But if we go over the grid here, we can see, if I just see this, uh, we have our three, uh, sorry, our 300 pixel um, right there. You can see it, the 300 pixel heights on each one of our grid items. Okay, now we need to just simply fix this thing where the images are taking up the entire, you know, width and height of whatever they want to be. So to fix that, go back inside here. I just want to also set a gap using the same gap variable of 16px. So now this just uh, this just creates a 16px gap between each image. Save this back in the browser and we get a gap right there which you can't currently see. There it is. Um, but we're going to fix these overly large images. So we need to basically tell the images to take up the entire width and height of their grid cell. So back down here we can say image dash grid and target each image img. Then we can say a width of 100% and a height of 100%. So now if we save this back in the browser, we get this right here. It is now working perfectly fine. So you just need to set that width and height on the image to basically constrain it to its container, or in this case, its grid cell. So we've got the grid working. Okay, so of course our four columns there and the 300 pixel rows. Now the problem is of course the images are being condensed down and they look a bit funny. So to fix that, go back inside here, we're going to say object dash fit and make this cover. Save this here and now basically the images are going to uh, maintain their aspect ratio as you resize them, which of course is going to help you with the responsiveness um, of your you know, solution. Okay, so there we go. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at uh, just creating or making this support mobile devices. So uh, screens smaller than something like uh, 1024 px. So going back inside the CSS, this is also a benefit of using the properties up here. So basically, I'm going to hop down here and we're going to be setting a media query. So we're going to be basically saying when the screen is less than 1024 px, so a smaller device, we're going to change our columns variable here to be 2 instead of 4. Okay. We're also going to be changing the row height. So going down here, we're going to say at media screen, then say and max width is equal to 1024px. So basically anything under, so uh, anything under 1024px. I'm going to say inside here, targeting the image dash grid, we're going to simply change those variables. So we can say here num coles is now equal to 2 then say row height is now equal to 200 px. Save this back in the browser and we have this right here. Upon going down less than 1024, we can see that it changes to a two column layout and the height also adjusts to be a bit smaller. So now of course on your small devices, it's going to look okay. Of course you can change this, you can make it a single column if you want to, but that's going to be up to you. So the last step now is going to be to support where essentially a single image can take up more space. So to achieve that, going back inside here, we're going to be uh, just creating some helper classes. So down here, I'm going to target the class of image dash grid dash coals, sorry, dash coal, then two. So basically, if your image in the HTML, if your image here has the class of image grid coal two, we want the image to take up two columns. Okay, so we can say grid dash column and make this span then two. So it's quite self explanatory. For this individual cell or item, we're going to say make it span two columns. Do the exact same thing this time making this row. So row image grid row and make this grid row. So of course this time talking about vertically taking up two rows. 
Save this. Then, in the HTML, let's make the first image here take up those two columns. We can say class and make this image image dash uh, what was it image dash grid dash col dash two. Yeah, image grid col two. There we go. Perfect. Save this back in the browser, and now it takes up two columns. Perfect, right? But now let's make it take up two rows. Back inside here, add the class of image grid. This time row, then two. Save it back in the browser, and it takes up your two rows. So that is how to create a CSS or HTML and CSS uh, image grid. Um, if today's video helped you out, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.